What's up, everybody? It's been an extremely long time, but what better time than when the school semester started and the world's going a little crazy because apparently uh, Wall Street's having, having a fizzle and for me to start playing group plans. You know, I don't have enough stuff going on on my plate. And would you look at all of this? Okay, I haven't touched this game since my last video, which was, I think, in August? So that was five months ago or something like that. And did they, the interfaces, okay. So they moved a lot of the buttons down to the bottom. I know nothing. I don't, I haven't even looked at the updates. I know all I know. Okay. All I know since August is that we got a new character. Um, and that's kind of what the plan is today. I know I'm incredibly rusty. But hopefully I have some background uh, Grifflands knowledge to make me better than nothing with Smith the Wastrel, a ne'er-do-well with a heart of gold and three livers of cast iron. I'm sure he's going to have a new mechanic, just like how Rook had the coin flip mechanic, and we're going to experience that together. Uh, he's... I don't even remember what the starting resolve and health of Sal and Rook are, so I don't know if he's higher or lower than them, and I'm too lazy. You know what? No. Let's do our due diligence, and how do I even... 52. Okay. So I know Rook was higher in resolve than Sal was, so Smith is probably like the medium of the two. Now let's select perks for him. I remember having... I remember these. These are just things that you unlock with currency outside of the game uh, that lets you improve, make the game easier run to run. Now what do we want? Let's heal <clears throat> after every fight. Sounds great. How do I, do I drag it over? Select this slot and then the perk. Got you. The first two cards you drop in each deck come before one, two. Let's get three random people to like us. Oh, crap. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. And then we'll the max XP on both of your basic decks is have. Up to two to perks and two or three. No, 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 it's, it's, it's cool. We're picking this one. Oh my god. Okay. This one, this one, this one, this one. There you go. People like me. Get rid of basic cards early. Heal four after each fight. And no custom game, let's just start. You were born to disappoint. When your wealthy parents tried to foot you with the bill of their ambitions, you left the check with your siblings and hit the road. So this is... is this us? Actions speak louder than words. So while you gambled and drank your way through the dive bar, through every dive bar this side of the sea, your parents cleaned up after you, eager to keep the family name out of letters. Meanwhile, your siblings flourish. Thur Thoreau? The baby. Grew out of diapers and into the merchant's guild, keeping his skin oil. Mullafy, your twin sister, sharpened her teeth at the Admiralty, swimming up the ranks like a shark-toothed eel. And Vix Mali, the eldest, became a Hessian cardinal. Guess those family tithes paid off. So at least when your parents finally died, you had they had three other broodlings to be proud of. But when you came home to claim your inheritance, it turns out that your parents weren't the only ones to feel resentful. This isn't the first time you wake up in a gutter, but it is the first time it hurts so bad. Alright, so you were a good for nothing kid. Or like, not good for nothing, but a giant disappointment. And our siblings are like, hey, you don't get any of mom and dad's money because you never made them proud. Which sucks, you know? I didn't choose to be born bad at everything. I'm just naturally good at being bad. You knew you weren't the family's favorite, but to be kicked out of your own parents' funeral? See, that's messed up. Uh, go over what happened, check yourself for reasons. Alright, Larry, let's, let's think. You talked your way out of retribution before, but your baby brother talked twisters around you. Oh, okay. All of these are new. Renowned. Three. Draw two cards. Uh, when destroyed, deal one damage to your core argument per stack of renown. At the end of your turn, this deals one damage for every two stacks to random opponent. Okay, so if Renown is destroyed, we get hurt. 
However, at the end of every turn, this does damage to the enemy as well. If this card destroys an argument, gain one action and return it to your hand. Sounds great. Uh, so this is great at finishing off enemies. Draw three cards, or dis uh, destroying, finishing off arguments. Draw three cards, discard two random cards from your hand. Okay. I would like... I like starting with Diplomacy. The, the Intimidate card was nice too, but uh, I feel like the Diplomacy path is easier, especially if you don't know what we're doing. Before you entered by the front entrance, elbowing your way through the crowd, this time though you head around the front. This is Holman. Hold it right there, Griff, that the captain has given me license to beat you down again if you need it. Yo, sas, yo. If you know who I am, you know I ain't no grifter. This is my house. Aputio. Not anymore. Besides, I've been stationed here for five years. This is the first time I've seen you. Fatote. I've had better things to do than let my glands harden around his thumb. Did you must hear? Blah, 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 blah. It takes time and self-reflection to notice where your feelings are. There's a box just inside the estate. Looks like some of the heirlooms from your parents' vacation home. Hey, uh, that's my box. Tiempo, ma. Don't kill da. I got egg rights okay. to that box in particular. Effie, if that is your real name. So no that one here you. cares about your dang rights. I'm doing you a favor if I turn you away like this. Let's listen, dude. I'm not going to start a fight. Let's look at our negotiation deck. Oh, you know what? No. We learn by doing this one. Do listen, dude. I'm not afraid of you. All right, so this is where this is the card where we get to choose our path. Gain one influence, and if you turn, lose one influence. Seems terrible. Or play this card twice. You have no arguments right now. You're gonna hit us for four, and I'm going to narrate more than I usually would, just because I need to remember how to play this game. All right, let's hit him for four. So far, good, yeah. Oh, I don't have. Okay, so this us this gives us renown, and then this, if we have that, increases the damage we can do. I get it. What the heck is this? Oh, flourish bar to trigger when this miss flourishes. Flourishes persist. So this is like your ult. You build it up over time, and this degrades over time. I remember. All right. Bravado. He has bonus damage to the number of hostile cards played in a row this turn. Okay. You're going to possibly destroy this, which would hurt me. I do not want that, so go away. Now, I want to protect this, because if this gets destroyed, I have a bad time. And then, I'm just going to smack it. So how do I build this up? In negotiation, earn flourish by playing cards, dealing damage, mitigating damage, and destroying arguments. So just, you know, play. Plus one expert card play, damage so. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We're getting hit for quite a bit. Smack him. Alright, and I need to remember to as many cards as possible to get experience on them. Create. Start of your turn, apply two composure to this argument, and then expend. Okay. Boon targets an opponent, argument each turn for 1-1 one, one damage. Start of your turn, apply two composure to this argument. Okay. It's like a... I'm not going to remember any of the card names, but there was other momentum cards like this before. Remove all composure from all friendly arguments. Apply that much composure to your target. All right. If we have a bunch of goons, we can choose to focus all of their composure onto ourselves, for instance, or whatever the uh, target for that round is. Whenever your core argument is attacked, deal three damage to a random target. I'd rather our core argument never get attacked. So let's grab a goon. Go I'll tell you from experience, that stuff is a pain to get out. Set a couple. Blah, blah, blah. You remember to see the box? Most of it's unforgettable, but there is one heirloom you'd like to keep. Ooh, 
let's see. 100 shields, healing vapors. Stop dash surgery. We have, it's a boring option, but let's get the shills because I remember we can use shills to drink with people, which will make them love us, which gives us boons, which are going to be somewhere. The interface is different, so I don't even know anymore. And also being able to buy a graft to fill these empty slots would also be super useful. Uh, ask about my parents. No one's seen their bodies. Alright, make their death. Not sure how you made it all the way here without hearing the news by a chance, but I'll have to find someone else to share the grisly details of their demise. That's the sound of a plot thickening? Yup. And that's all I'm gonna learn about right now. I don't need to stump, I'll travel the world. See you on the flipper side, chump. All right, ooh, brand new map, Queen Fish Town. I like the shape of all the buildings. Very elongated, kind of looking like scales. All right, look at all of that. Got the big old jellyfish in the port. And there's only one place for us to go. Find a small bag looking sad and lonesome on the ground. Someone even took the time to write money on it in unpracticed letters. Well, of course I want to take it. Siabudia. Bag looks plump, but when you pull it open, there's not much inside except a wadding, except wadding and a couple of clinking shells. Got you red hand. You again. I didn't steal it. So I can either argue against you again, because we're not isolated. I can't just kill you. Yeah, let's give you them. First off. Uh, here, take it back. Uh, no. You're not, you're not gonna do this to me. Also, why are you here? You're just at my parents' estate. Feel like you got this thing against me. Not real nice. We will. Game or not. Apply composure. And then let's get a goon out. We'll just beat you over the head every turn. Alright, so you're going for our Renown, which is unfortunate. Let's see if we can't get rid of you, but we can. Okay, we want to keep our renown going. And then, we'll swing at you. You'll love to see it. Uh, you're still taking damage from there, so we'll simply block it all. Or enough of it that we don't die this turn. Alright. Now it's all going towards this planted evidence. Start of Effie's turn to steal 10 shells from Smith under one risk. I refuse. I don't have what do you were now. But I do. I wonder if. Okay, okay. This is for experimental purposes. Because this has bravado. Uh, if I play this and it plays twice, does this increase twice? It did not. Alright. Shut up, Piata! And now we simply, simply block. It's still going to be destroyed. We're still going to take two damage, but that's fine. Okay. 
because Renown degrades over time, keeping it up is going to be a hassle. Like, we have to focus on keeping it up. We're taking four. But so many of our cards rely on Renown. Or is Renown? I think he's saying this wrong forever. And I'm gonna apologize right now. This episode is gonna take forever too. Just because, you know, out of practice. All these new cards gotta read everything that's going on. Gotta read and all that. Alright. Gain a bunch of renown. Renown? Just flip it up every once in a while. You're getting attacked, that's fine. But for eight damage, you're dead, dude. Alright. How about how about I draw a card? How about I swing gotcha? Wait. Yes. See a shot or not. And now I don't have enough to kill you. Hold on. I do. Tina Mundo. Because I swing at you twice. And now you're dead, dude. Alright. Force all enemy intents and arguments to target as a friendly argument. Okay. It's like you can turn a argument into bait. Oh, we read this already. Expend a card in your hand. All other cards in your hand gain two damage until played. That's neat. Uh, I don't want it. Let's gain five from Fisher. And to increase the maximum of this. Let's go ahead and remove you from the deck. I like having a thin a thinner deck. Attack twice with that card just seems better. I don't know in any situation where attacking twice isn't the correct answer. I ain't been back to the neighborhood in a while, but you gotta know better than to pick on the have breeds. Riches of pilgrims are one thing, but me, I come from stock. Not a good look for you. Oh, noble, huh? I'll let you in a little secret. This whole thing, it's a trap. Yeah, no... No, no way, dude. You tell me... Tell me this was a setup? That's crazy, dude. Can you believe that was a trap? This hideaway isn't your first choice of bar, but it's the only thing that doesn't have a bouncer at the door. Only one that doesn't have a bouncer at the door, keeping pilgrims away. Inside the air is humid and heavy, the way most Kradeshi like it. You take a deep breath to coat your lungs, and for the first time you actually feel at home. Oh, so I'm going to take a moment to apologize real quick. Um, since my last video, I've gotten... I've moved, so there's a new room set up. And I got a new mic, but I have not listened to it a lot yet. So if the audio levels are off or different than you're used to, uh, I'm going to look back at the videos in a bit. And we'll see if we can make it more pleasing for everybody. It takes a moment for you to notice the Jerackle barkeep, hair slick with the heat. The whole. Hey barkeep, whatever you got that's on the house. Yo, I like your... Are you a pirate? Step your door. I'm in mourning. So Smith. Sepiana. Got it in one, do I? The nervous switching of the dark Jerackle's nose brings back fond memories of your school days. So Sweet Maurice. You old fluff, how you been buddy? Boy, is it for good to see a friendly face. I've had a hell of a week. Yeah, well... I don't know why I'm doing a voice. He's got a toothpick in his mouth. You and me both, I guess. Is there something you want, or are you just here to ask for free swill? Because you're extra sensitive, you notice that sweet Marie is looking a little limp. Uh... What's, uh... What's up with, the uh, Fake lore? Whatever you're doing, count me in. We're friends, that's all right. <laughs> of course we are, sweet Maurice. You got a little little toothpick, you got little pirate earrings going on, you got, got a nice look at you, and you got a sad mouth. I'm, I'm here to help. 
Dude, your first name's Sweet. What can I do to help? Just say the word and your old pal Smith will knock some heads for you. I just don't have the muscle to see it done. Well, I got plenty of muscles to see him. Long arms. Long muscles. Lots of leverage. Whatever you say. Alright. Sweet Marie needs you to convince her. Blah blah. Who cares about the actual plot? What are my rewards? Money? And healing. Or money. And draw a card, apply to late. I mean, yeah. I want to do some battle so I can see what my battle deck looks like and to level it up properly, but I don't want to heal, just simply don't get hit. My sponsor has always been a local merchant, gets blessings from cheap, but these days, we're getting right in with the Hessians, it's competitive business. Turns out I got outraged. We just, I don't know, scribbled some proverb on the wall and called a day. Forgery? Kidding? That leaves me my business and my hide. I'd rather just pay the shills if you can negotiate with Alan for me, that is. Sweet Maurice needs you to convince Alan to sponsor his bar. Easy peasy, sponsor squeeze. I ain't got much to lose, so if you do this, it'll bring me back from the brink. You don't well on mentally, financially, emotionally prepared. You like me already. What's mixology? Never you drink to restore health also. It's boring, dude. But have I done it before? Yes. That's why I know what it is. What's your deal? I don't know. Right. Oh, destroy, sleep it off. Oh, I guess they just uh, made it more clear that sleeping it off will destroy the cards. Uh, it's early, and restoring 10 resolve would actually be helpful. So let's figure out what uh, what's up with you, Abby. 200. But that's a good, that's a good boon, dude. Alright, I'll be back when I have 45 more shields. You just stay there, buddy. You again? What the heck is your issue, dude? That's a... And he already likes me. What's the haggle badge? Yo! Alright, I'm about to complete a quest. Getting this early seems like it'll be great. Because I love having more rewards. Alan's prices are fair even when the skies aren't. Like, in RPGs, when, whenever there's a like a skill that's just like, oh, increase your drop rate or make it so you get things more often. Even though it gives you in the beginning of the game, I'm always a sucker for just investing in that right away. So I n don't have that nagging thought in the back of my head. It's like, oh, if I invested earlier, I'm returning my investment sooner. Also, here they are, social boots. I'm sorry, I said the word invest. <clears throat> hey, you the brass buttons, the blessings for bounty? My business is in good standing with the cult, and as such, I am a licensed blessings distributor. One of them was my buddy Sweet Maurice at the Tropical Hideaway. You're apparently being good to him before, so I'm going to need you to rustle up the scripts to put the touch of Hesh on his bar. Sweet Marie sent you, then he knows it's just business. Much better return from other businesses, ones that stand to make a tidy sum in these times. Tell Sweet Marie that he needs to provide a better response, return on investment for his next sponsor. Uh... Effie, just shut up. Right. Nobody asked you. We're just talking. Listen, it's a good bar. Shut up. Ah, <sighs> alright. We're taking 5 damage turn 1. We can easily mitigate that. We're done. Destroy that. Never want to see you again. Then I guess I'll just play you. 3 damage, alright. Now. 
starting to turn add one hush money to your hand and reduce this by one. Yo, that's sick. Let's go ahead. Create a goon. Block most of the damage. And then... And smack it twice. I will not play that just yet. If I was gonna play it, I would have played it before blocking. That is it. It's gonna draw us one extra card to start your turn. Well, yeah, I want to destroy it. Let's go ahead. There you go. Block three damage. We would like to draw. We're getting hit by one for one this turn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ignore it. Stop filling my pocket with garbage. You wanna get this high again? Also, we're being attacked in the face, and that's no point. So far good yeah. Renown 3, draw 2 cards. We want to draw before we block. Yeah, because you get a cool thing like this. Oh, sorry, that's you. Alright. Just, just things keep happening. I'm just gonna let it I'm just gonna let it happen, alright? Uh there's too much stuff going on right there. I want it all to go away. How much renown do we have? Two? Perfect. Oh, we can we can bully real well. So if I play this and then I play this, this will do two to three twice. Which is sick. But I'd rather Wait a minute. Two to three twice is four to six. This will be five to eight. There is a low chance that this works out. So, objective survive. And then just go ahead and play this one. Uh, oh, and you're dead. Oops. Gain to renown. At the end of your turn, remove all your renown and apply that much composure to your core argument. Yo, that's... Is that good? Apply three composure to an enemy argument and force all... Oh, that sucks. Force all enemy intents and arguments to attack it. Spend four, spend four renown. Gain two influence. That's interesting. All right, screw it. We're gonna lean in heavily into this renowned mechanic. Yeah, dude. Gain one renown. Yeah, dude. Gain three renown. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna be the most known dude. For one thing, it's waterfront. Great view of the beach. And for another, it's got me. I'm a banquad. My parents are the ones that got, got did by the biomass. I'm freaking... I'm a known dude. See the great be beaching, have a drink, touch a banquad. Yo, you're there it's gonna rub up on me. Very well, tell sweet Maurice I'll send along the blessings. Oh, people are gonna be disappointed when they don't get to rub on this banquad, dude. I thought these designs were always freaking sick, dude. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye forever. Alright, you're still here. I need you to give me... Uh... Ban Sochoa. 
Potential Solomon. Listen. Alright. I know that you said you're broke. Oh, let's go. Okay. When destroyed, receive 30. Okay, okay. This is great. And I know I'm robbing my friend here, but I this, this won't affect the story. Don't worry. I have no way of gaining renown, though. And you're... I start with influence? There's so much going on. Okay, just go ahead and attack this. First. Thank you for $30. I need all of this. Here, we were trying to destroy them both at the same time to maximize the money we get. How did, why did you gain two composure whenever you play a manipulate card? Got it. What is this? You need to play a new argument in case this argument is all van damage by two. Alright, alright, alright. Manipulate cards are purple. Got it. Uh, Renown is an argument, so can I destroy you without... Without doing that? Or can I just destroy you guys. What is this? Okay. Let's go ahead. Freaking rush it, dude. Game three renown. So far good You're gonna hurt. And then hopefully destroy you. I'll be to there. Just don't hurt me too bad. And I get it, you're blocking, but the turn's over. Yeah, what is this? Sir, can resolve this most core argument. I'll put garbage in my deck. No, that's too much garbage. No, thank you. I'm not even that hurt. So let's go ahead. You want to destroy this. Easily done. Yeah. Then let's go ahead and draw a card. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Right, protect this. No. This gets destroyed. It's gonna do five damage to me. Tina Mundo. Dude, this it's gonna hurt. Just end him. Right? No, we want influence. Oh my goodness. What have I done? Alright, hopefully you're dead. Thanks for all the shills. This card destroys an argument, gain one action, return to your hand, destroy a friendly argument, apply composure equal to it. Remove a friendly argument, gain renown equal to its maximum resolve. That's a lot of stuff going on. You know what? No. No, thank you. Expend. Gain. Go. Delete. Basic stuff in my hand. Dominance. No, 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 no. Gain two influence. Expend or renown three. This card deals double damage by default opponent. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, dude. I would like to get paid now. Blessings up the lawsuit. 
Let's go. Just enough money to get the defense upgrade. Cray Oak Claw. And he didn't make anyone mad? Nope, no one's mad, dude. Someone came by asking questions looking for you. They left directions. Alright. If you come back, and, uh, when you come back, I'll skip the in the branch. Is there somewhere I can stock up before walking into this obvious trap? Price are a bit low right now, but what with the token gemming up trade? But if you need anything, just head to the party store. Heads the party store. Like most things in the pearl, it's a front has to see the special reserve. Secret hats. Well aged hats. Alright. Give me this. Okay, one one is defense on all cards up. Yeah. That will save my life. Now let's go improve my battle deck, please. Oh, let's go. Limited events. Upgrade one of your battle cards at the cost of some coin. Or my friend Cash. Who the heck is Cash? I don't have a friend named Cash. I got Rux, Stolo, Sweet Mother, Heavy, and oh, it's you. All right, go save your life. Yo, this guy's important. He's gonna give me lots of money throughout the entire campaign. Uh, Let's go. Listen, Okonomi, you got a nice aesthetic. I like your glowing dog tooth thing going on. But you gotta uh, get back out of here. You got it. Whenever a faith and hash argument is destroyed, this argument restores to resolve. All right. Uh, that that looks like it sucks. So I'm just gonna play these cards, and then I'm gonna draw some cards, and then I'm gonna let you hit me for two. Thank you, real hard. Came to an end, wrong card. And I have. The Q was up. For now. So this will do plenty. And it costs zero. Yo! Oh, they're gonna flourish persist between negotiations. Alright, not on this one. But. Next time, I'm gonna freaking blast you, dude. The next negotiation, I'm gonna open up with this flourish. It's gonna blow your freaking mind. Okay, okay. Good practice. Just to play cards. I can gain experience. Just upgrading. This is how you win. Renowned three, this deals three bonus damage. Destroy all friend arguments and create new copies of them. So like if they're about to be busted, you can like revive them. It's like a like a reset. That's cool and all. Three bonus damage. So it does five to six. Yo, that's actually sick. You step up now and be content with the beating you gave him. The tools, sir. Get out of here. You take cash to shelter and after dressing his wounds, get back to the road. Alright. Lots of new stuff going on. Send me to the party store. You're used to seeing strange characters on the road, but the fellow who stops you up short would look at a place just about anywhere. Why, what's this? You're no pilgrim, that's for sure. You also don't look quite like a pearly. 
your slug slang is gonna be beyond me, dude. Best of both worlds is what I am, born and bred from the foam, but seasoned by the road. Kotseke. Then perhaps your palate is equally adventurous. Hmm? Fancy trying one of my amuse bouches? I've never. I feel like that's not how you spell amuse bouche. I've also never said that word out loud, so, uh, welcome. Rare ingredients sourced from the bog and local delicacies fused into one unique cuisine. Deep eel eclair, tide pool pods, tide pool pod, tide pool pods, or the hesh fowler avine, hesh bladder avine. I mean, gotta try the tide pods, right? Tiempo, ma. Colors look unnatural. <laughs> Nothing is food unless it's eaten. Bite down on the dent membrane of the pod, which probably explodes from the pressure. The inside your mouth erupts with itchy sores. Unripened tide pods. <clears throat> tide pool pods. Please take the rest as an apology. They might not ripen, but at the very least you can throw them at your enemies. Uh, there is no discovery without risk. Like, yeah, dude. Experimental chef. I'm not telling anyone. It's just experimental food. Really so boring that this is what I choose to leave. Here, I thought my food would be an inspiration. But for a reeve, that's enough for me. Cleans up his gear and leaves you convinced to taste from your life. Lost 8 HP. Hits all enemies, destroy after 5 uses. That's hilarious. They're even the... <clears throat> Tide pod colors. Alright. You enter the party store, which unsurprisingly looks like it sells party supplies. I want your special stock. Special reserve. I heard you might have had a better selection than your window lets on. Is that true? Best selection in the foam. Finer than some can afford. I got a whole 50 shills if you uh, would not be so rude. How do I know you're being truthful? Because I'm freaking cool. Look, I'm so cool. I have so much renown. At the end of Ga G Gumtho? At the end of Gumtho's turn, incept Catchpenny. What the heck is Catchpenny? Start of your turn, double Catchpenny. When destroyed, lose one show per stack. What the frick? I'm flourishing. Gain eight renown immediately? What the frick? What the heck is this? I don't know what's happening. That was a free card to play? What the heck? I'll apply composure. Flourish is so good, dude. Okay, you have no arguments. Where's the card that turns Renown into influence? I want to play you. Which means I should draw a card. And make sure this doesn't get destroyed. Yeah, that's actually the most important thing. You're taking five damage. And there it is, right when I can't play it. Dude, I got... People know me, okay? Don't... Don't talk to me ever again. You destroyed add 12 shells to your bonus. What the heck? Just give me the money, dude. Shata Piata. Shata Piata. Turn your turn, spend one renown, and apply three composure to your car. That's okay. No, all right. No, I want. Is it dangerous to have all of our defenses expend? Yes. Am I gonna do it anyway? Yes. Destroy that. We don't need your aggressive cards. Gain three renown. Draw one card or apply composure. No. More renown and faster. Live fast, or die trying to live fast. 
Uh, me and Sweet are real cool, so let me in, please, ma'am. For obvious reasons, it's a little easier to show the best stock after dark, so you don't have to check back often to see what we have. Yeah, whatever. The freaking sad robot. The heck is this? Plaka. Aren't you like the graph person? Yeah, 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 you sell graphs, so but not for 60 bucks, you don't. What the heck is... That's for allies. Whenever you trigger a card's threshold, gain two adrenaline. Time of damage is increased by two. At the end of your turn, remove all adrenaline. What the heck? Whenever you draw six or more cards in a single turn, play a random card in your hand with a random target. Yo, that's sick. What's here? Whenever you gain renown, apply one composure to a random friendly target. Huge. Start your regular turn. Get wine. Yeah. Start your turn. Gain one infinite renown. It's so good. I need money. The civilian party machine. Yo, what's up, Steven? No, dude, you don't know. The party's just started. We know how to party. That's right. Those crates, full of party. Hell yeah, brother. What you got? Oh, it's all new art. Dominion. Spend up to six renown. Gain one dominance per two spent. Yo, that's sick. Whenever you gain renown, reduce the cost of this card by one. <gasps> yep. Gain defense equal to the damage dealt by your next attack. But it costs two. That's stinky. Yeah, make it cost one. Well, I guess you can have it roll over to your next turn, but that's boring. Whenever you trigger a card's threshold, gain two defense. Yeah, I like that. Gain two defense, increase by one for each power and adrenaline. Man, I need to use my actual deck. When does the party start? Of course. Uh, what are we partying for? That's right, Steven. Parties are the reason Get for the party. Girl. The theme is partying. Heck yeah, dude. When's the party end? Dude, the party's done when the party's done. And the party's never done. Exactly. Come on, dude. I know this. Never. Alright. Steven knows what's up. Steven... Is the only real person in this freaking messed up world. I need to do combat. You figure you found the right place when you see the Luminari. You always did have a knack for escalating the drama. So, Wait. This is gonna sound real stupid. I thought all the Luminari were robots. Or at least, like. I didn't realize that this was a mask. I thought this was a helmet of like a robot. I may be the dumbest man you'll ever listen to. Uh, I am. <laughs> uh, you, from what you I hear, it won't be too long before you're often asked for. I figure you got about five minutes before the intrigue wears off and I get for it. Yo, it's a YouTube which I am not. I'm just a dude. I reckon about 10 years late on my cult dues, but you better, you'd have better luck bringing Brian from the stone. Luminari aren't tax collectors. My name is Te Utaro. I'm here to propose a partnership. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. That I can't guarantee, but I do know that whatever happened to you was masterminded by Vix Molly. Of course. Uproot Vix Molly. And there's fertile soil underneath, as the old adage goes. You know. Seems like we're in business, Luminari. I'm afraid I have... The task I have for you is all about bureaucracy, I'm afraid. The Admiralty and New Deltry has sent a messenger requesting backup. Seems the criminal elements in Murder Bay are getting out of hand. Murder Bay is Rook's map tower with the great breaching. Avaria was a 
Uh, no, this is Sal's land. Huh, the cult doesn't have any admiralty spare. Is that it? It isn't the cult's decision, of course. The admiralty is autonomous. I'd like to you to intercept the message before it reaches admiralty command. The courier is a Jake, and of course, miss by this time. If it's wrong, Jake, though, Koff should get the Austrian track as soon as he arrives in town. Go get the missive from Koff and take it to Jati for alterations. But leave Koff alive. You'll need to deliver him the altered request. I'm still not gonna get to fight anybody. Uh, unfortunate. Is there anybody here? Who I would like to talk to? No, because I'm broke, dude. Oh, what's up? Smuggler has a reputation for negotiating steep prices for his services. Perhaps the origin of the Hawaiian phrase coughing up the cash. Cough. I understand. Out in the chill of the night, let's cover your neck and not for fear of catching cold. You're a cough, right? Who's asking? Literally, I just did. So pass here. I have you know that I am duty bound to deliver this message unadulterated. I'll have you know. Uh, you're at the racetrack. I like gambling. Uh, what's, uh, what's the job like? Uh, you should let me have it and not dislike me. You sh sh Epi? Shut your mouth. Alright? Nobody has ever asked for your opinion on anything. And I want you to shut your mouth. Uh, this will gain. Yes, this expends, but that's fine. I want you gone forever. And whenever they deal damage, they can closure equal to no resolve as well. Yeah, so if they can't do damage, they take damage. Oh no, you go away. And that's gonna hurt. Right? No, it doesn't hurt. Alright, alright. Hidden intents. How about uh no intents? So I don't have to worry about your dumb cat. And then I can so good, yeah. gain renown. Don't have enough for you to be useful. Unfortunate. Thank you, Hosa. I do have enough for this. Which is great. Tina Mundo. I can hit everybody. And I'm safe for the future. Could just play this card. Oh, I, I just Pass your turn. can't. You know what? That's okay. Alright, first off, clear the clear the battlefield. This destroys permanently. Feels like kind of a waste. It's an easy eight damage. Instead. You're basically dead. Get a little experience first. Apply three composure. We have four now. Apply three bonus composure. Easy to get. Uh, I already got that. You only can only target friendly arguments attacked twice. Uh, excuse me. Is there like some suicide-based arguments? Like when this argument's destroyed, hurt your opponent for? A bunch. Yeah, let's get some defenses back into our deck. Sami Passa. Again, yeah. Yeah, technically you ain't lying. I'm just gonna take this over here. Doctor, this letter stated surgery on a grape. Sadeki. Admiralty stationery, standard requisition, a rather chaotic hand. And a somewhat unprofessional cadence. Unusual cadence. So you have to do it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not the one who's supposed to write the letter. Yeah, just put a little chaos in their system. Fill in the blanks, dude. It's just madness. 
Dear Commander Laspo, I hope this message finds you your desk. With the upcoming auction, the security situation in Murder Bay is like your butt. Completely normal. Thank you very much. Please send your reserve troops immediately before things get any worse. Please send a shipment of lumen. Okay, who are we writing this to? Commander Laskow, Admiralty. I hope this message finds your desk. It is completely normal. Please send your thoughts and prayers. I know that family. I'm pretty sure I used to beat up the youngest brother. Look at that S eating grin. Sounds good to me. Yo, let's uh, give it back to Pop. Got your message. Dude, it was uh, sweat from your butt when you were nervous about the racetrack. You will never trust the steel again. You don't know the half of it. When a burly spree stops him in his tracks. We've been following you since you left Murder Bay. The message is going to make our lives harder. I'm here to collect it. Mm, no, it's not. You can just leave. You big jerk. And you know what? I'm going to punch you. Because I need... Would you like to see... Don't ever give me a tutorial. Alright, I can just read words. Trauma. When that upper owner is attacked, increase trauma by one. At 10 stacks, owner gains traumatized and loses trauma. Traumatized and attack against the owner deals double damage and reduces this by one. Okay. And then there's wound. Okay, okay. So his thing is that he traumatizes opponents. Moxie? Never Smith takes damage on his turn. His Moxie increases by random amount to 1 and 2. This will heal equal to the amount of Moxie he has. After healing, his Moxie is half down to. So he's got passive healing whenever he takes damage. And he traumatizes his enemies. What the heck is this? Empty bottle? I should have read the tutorial. Is it too late? Alright, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It shows empty bottles on both sides of the screen. You know what? I'm not being hurt this turn. Expend one empty bottle from your deck. Apply one more. I have no empty bottles, so I will traumatize you instead. Also, destroy that. I'm just gonna play a card. What? What do I. I'm not playing this. Dude's getting beat up, that's fine. I'm not. I got Tide Pods. Got a drop kick. This is all normal stuff. Drink, improvise a card. And this gives a bottle. Alright. Freaking do it. Alleviate your health. Help recover health up to the amount you have lost the string. What the heck? Let's just keep drinking. Kick her in the face. Did it say take three damage? I totally... I'm like a big idiot. Can't read.
can expend empty bottles yourself as they clog up your deck. I get it. Also, a surrender card. The target has trauma, apply one wound. Expend all empty bottles in your hand. Drink two per card expended. What the heck? Threshold six, apply two and tear. All right, let's go. This like there's looks like there's two deck archetypes you can go down: the the drinking one or the trauma one. Let's go with trauma. It makes more sense to me. I understand it immediately. Right, you fill up trauma, and then they're just in a bad place. Activates and added. Fact if damage is at or above the threshold number. Yeah, Tra trauma just makes sense. The bottles is too big brain for me right now. All right, I guess I gotta escort you out of this place. You were just chilling here. The heck? Why? Uh, got a message for you. If it's a real message. Look, look, look at the seal, dude. It's so smooth and not alterable. You're gonna hit me for three? No, no, no. You see, no, 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 no. You're not gonna do anything? And we're just gonna live our life. And I see this evidence you planted on me, and I don't expect it. Right. As a matter of fact, I respect it so little. I'm not going to acknowledge it. What's going on right now? We have two renown. Renown. That's game three. Let's our cards do more stuff. I would like to destroy this. Overflows onto you. You're attacking us and our evidence. We have no composure to add to it. So. Let's just go ahead and hit you for as much as possible. You know what? Okay. Cards out of our deck, and you're dead. Yo, it's the star, man. Whenever you draw this, increase this damage by two for the rest of the negotiation if you have any renown. Yeah, that, that's it. We should be grateful. Murder stays a long ways away. Thank you for your service, Crypter. Sorry if you hear that noise. My garage is opening. We're closing. It'll be over soon. Uh, there you go. Yeah, my room is right above the garage, so... Sometimes I get nice vibrations under my toes as it opens and closes. Hey, I want to... Uh, negotiate for more reward? Excuse me? I thought I was going to be able to negotiate for a better reward. At the start of each negotiation, insert a conductor card into your hand that returns to an empty. What? Force all enemies. What the heck? This is all garbage. No, I don't want it. Freaking waste my time. And you suck too. 190. 
You come back to the bar's empty safe or a table occupied by the rowdy miscreants you generally enjoy. Not tonight though, too much on your mind, but the good pal you are, you still notice sweet Maurice seems distracted. Hey sweet, you ain't got no love for your old friend and safe. You got customers. But they're causing trouble. You're less of a customer and more of a parasite. They screwed up all the other clientele. And I don't have a bouncer to deal with the riffraff. Fortunately for you, you got riffraff fit to make someone bounce. As me. Don't kill anyone, don't break anything. You approach the close knit group surrounding a mountain of empty and broken glasses. These folks are familiar, the kind of bar slugs you find all across Savaria. Most of them seem the sort that would melt under an open tab or closed fist, whichever way you went. But for one, Liquor has put a soft, buttery glaze in his eyes, and though it's only a marinade for meat too tough to rend. That's some. That sure is some figurative language. Oh, well, hey, fellas, you looking to add to your company? Listen, dude, I just want to take off your Star Wars pod racing helmet and spank you so you get out of here. Scram or get scrambled? How dare you? Plus, come on, tell me you don't practice your tough voice from the mirror to brush your teeth. Shows you. The boss don't even brush his teeth. Yes, I do. You're a big stinky who doesn't brush his teeth, but if he did, he would practice his bad guy voice for a bit. Alright, alright. I remember these. It's uh, you destroy them, and it makes the upcoming fight easier. We're gonna go to bed after this, so I'm not super worried about taking damage. However, However, I have no way of drawing, so I will have no renown this turn. And we kind of want to destroy all of these at once. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. I'm okay with taking one damage this turn. Because I want to save this for later. Probably should have destroyed this. But for anyone that's it. It's okay. Don't take my cards. Uh, this is how much might do. I didn't have renown. Yo, where are my renown generators? It's messed up. I'm struggling. I'm drowning. Give me good this card. Root gains one can push for each hostility card you draw. That's fine. Uh, you want to spread it out? Because we're not ready. We're not ready yet. And influence doesn't go down every turn. But I do need a block for you. And you're gonna go away. That's okay. Kupiaki. Ah, okay, here we go. Papa Dwoope. There's three Renown. And then we need to deal bonus damage to this one. It has the most health. What the heck? All of this. Just, just start swinging, dude. We're gonna take. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna take five. We're gonna destroy our influence. We got the straw man argument going on. I'd rather not take five. I'd also rather not have you destroy my. That's tough, dude. So far, good, yeah. I get it, you're like a patient or whatever, but just chill. Let's go ahead. We have two Renown, which works with this card. We 
can go ahead and gain two influence. What are we playing this turn? We're taking five, so we're gonna probably replay this. It's unfortunate the card blocks the dialogue. But that's something we can live with. Still taking five. And gain some patience when it's destroyed. Alright, well then go ahead and when this argument is destroyed, all cards are returned to your hand, and I gain vulnerability. I'd rather not. Just go to face for a bit and destroy you later. Listen, just stop. Stop. Things keep happening. Brute loses half the resolve. This bounty lasts one more turn. Oh, that's easy. You're freaking done, dude. The pain is gonna get you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Just end them. Alright, we've reached the best part of the run where your deck just does stuff and you're not sure what's going on, but it works. Uh, no, I don't want to remove my Renown. I want to build big Renown and then it all explodes and lets me do more stuff. And let's get this going more often. Because I don't have low cost cards. So having a handful of cards doesn't help as much as being able to play a few good ones. Reassess your personal hygiene. You got a stinky mouth. Just maybe don't shoot the messenger, you know? This guy did a favor. It's a birthday present. Yeah, happy birthday, dude. How about one of your eye stocks for good luck? That's gross, dude. You gonna know, steal my eyeball? Get root to surrender. <clears throat> Alright, what the heck is this? Whenever he attacks, cause health. Whenever his attack causes health loss, he gains two cure. Reaches 10, he'll unleash a special attack. Alright. So don't let him hit you. But he's also impaired and simply will be applying a status effect. Uh, so if I defend myself from my own drop kick. Yep. And then smack him one more. Alright. Good turn. Appreciate that. Freeze your next attack against you will deal 8 bonus damage. Move 3 singled out whenever you play a maneuver card. The maneuver cards are the blue ones. Insert hammer throw or bottle. Your target has trauma of 5 1 wound. Okay, okay, okay. Traumatizing. A card. If I drink again, this will reduce it even further. There you go, no bonus damage. And then, well, now applying one wound doesn't mean much because it'll go away next turn. Let's just keep the trauma going. Okay. Whenever you have attacked, he's trauma by one. At 10 stats, game's traumatized. Right. What? Yeah, okay, don't show me this again. Lost morale, let's go. His friends know he stinks. He's gonna do five damage to me. What, that was to hurt? And then, let's go ahead and draw a card. 
we can apply more trauma. Which actually applies to trauma, because every attack we do does that. And then we block. Easy peasy, dude. Dude, it doesn't hurt. Stop trying. Yo, you're wounded. Just go nuts. He has trauma. Apply more wound. Just freaking beat him senseless. Empty one bottle from your deck. Apply two trauma. Yo, huge. Empty up to two bottle cards from deck. Deal three damage for each bottle. Yeah, dude. From your deck. I have no bottles in my deck. They're all my discard. I'm an idiot. Is this his big card? You absolute fool. You've lined up your fear attack with my evasion turn that I totally planned. Who's big brain now? Alright. So, let's not take any damage this turn. Instead, we just traumatize the heck out of this dude. Just keep drinking. Oh, power! Alright. He'll be traumatized next turn. Yeah. So now he's traumatized. So the traumatize will go away. He does so much damage because he also has a wound. Okay, so the wound knocks this from 3 to 5 to 5 to 7. And then traumatize makes it 10 to 14. Traumatize goes away, but trauma's still counting up. Play cards, play cards. So wound works really well with Smith. All right, here's where we play a bunch of maneuvers. Three temporary power. Let's go. Yes, trauma. Apply wound. So that does eight to ten. That's twelve. Let's go ahead and play this. We can go ahead and spend one empty bottle card for deck if I want to impair. Find three trauma. Let's impair him. Because you're doing uh, too much damage. Now you're doing six. And now you'll do like nothing. Dude. Your bonus damage got taken care of. I like the way that Smith just grunts like a freaking wild animal. And then we can defend ourselves. We're only fighting one enemy, so I don't think the Tide Pods are super useful right now. And the Krayo Claw, while very neat, is also not very useful right now. This would make me take more damage, but it also ends the fight sooner. Right, just bash him. Just be conscious, dude. Chuck this bottle at you. Oh my word. Alright, so that's how Smith fights. It's nutty. Threshold 5. Reduce all thresholds by 1 for the rest of this turn. Okay. Expend 2 empty bottle cards from your deck. Apply 2 wound. Yeah, I don't want to mess with this bottle mechanic because I gotta manage which discard or deck they're in. Let's just get this rare attack. 
Apply one composure to all friendly arguments, increased by one for each hostile card played this turn. Oh, also, if you hear yipping in the background, I got a puppy, and he loves to make noise at all things, so I don't know, deal with it. You can only, you know, this is lame as heck. Get out of here. What the heck is restraint? Damage to the card cannot be increased. You have six, if you have six or more empty bottle cards in your deck, what the heck? Give me the upgraded cards. Thanks for the resolve and help. Ooh, knocked out your tooth, dude. You should have brushed your teeth. It would have been stronger. Gingivite is weakening your hold on their teeth. Party moves outside. Your sense you haven't seen the last of brute. Thanks for it. That could have gotten ugly. I'm a professional. I've been playing this game for like months. I've made up a room for you in the back when you're ready to hit the sack. Oh, and one more thing. Since you handle this spoon so well, I'll let you take something from the lost and found. Oh yeah, dude. Your first attack each battle does 2x damage. It's hard to each negotiation. Choose a card in your hand and duplicate it. Part of every turn. Insert lean and green into your hand. Drink one and gain one adrenaline. What the heck is adrenaline? I've forgotten. Um, well, it's every turn, right? Free adrenaline every turn? People sure lose some good stuff in here. Thanks, Marif. Yeah, dude. Uh, gracias. Yeah, do I have enough? Or craft. Effie, get the frick out of here, dude. I'm tired of you just like being here all the time. It's my election move. Turn up. You won't come out of the show in this constant jam. Uh, Effie, just like be chill. It's just, it's a snail. Sometimes they like. Sometimes they just don't want to move. And if you pick them up by their shell, you, they can like detach. You gotta be careful. What is this even? Just give me Ronaldo. I'm far past the point of thinking. Every third turn, they retract through their shell, shielding his core argument. Oi. Alright. Give me this. Smack them. Move on with your life. Did you just slime me? You draw one less card to start of your turn, not then every turn remove one ocean slime. Dude, that's messed up. I freaking freaking hate that. Uh, give me more renown, please. You know what else is good? Freaking. How much do I have? Two? Give me influence, dude. Now, I can just smack you real hard. What the heck is this sad, sad snail eyes? All hostility cards deal one less damage? Oh, I would never. Look at those freaking sad snail eyes. They're not even like stalks on the side of their head. It's Got anime eyes going on. We're gonna break your heart. So far, good, yeah. Uh, give Renown. Uh, play Fame. Yeah, don't create influence. It's gonna be destroyed right now. Or, or, hold on. Big brain. Don't. Don't destroy my influence. Maybe I still remember how to play the game. Just just a little bit of memory still in my dome, please. Alright. We would want to destroy this. We are not being attacked this turn. He's gone into his shell. So far good here. I'm all flourished up. 
Bash him. Alright, you come out of your shell and you slime me. That's fine. I can finally play. Consolidate. It did mess up our renown, but got enough to win the fight. Move friendly argument game. Oh, there's so much. Draw three cards, discard two random cards from your hand. No. How about you just move? Turn up. Thank you, Smith. You certainly have a way with the snails. Because of the eye stalks. We, the eye stalk creatures, gotta, gotta hang together. Hey, uh, what's up with Steven? And he likes to party. Yeah. You work hard, you party hard. Business, uh, yep. All right, all right. What, what, what you got? Whenever you trigger a card threshold, gain two adrenaline. Or whenever you gain renown, apply one composure to a friend of random argument. Wine. Clan chain is freaking dope, but this is going to go away tomorrow. And I don't have enough for it. Whatever you trigger. For 200 shills. Alright, what's, what's Steven selling though? You can remove cards, or you can... Gain two defense, increase by one for each power and adrenaline. Whenever you gain renown, reduce the cost of this card by one. I want this? It just seems really good? But it costs 200? Threshold. I don't have threshold cards though, right? And threshold would be easier to hit with trauma going. Okay. I'm gonna wind up with a case of like we have a bunch of threshold enablers, but no actual threshold cards. But I like the potential in this card. Also, it's new art. Stop partying, it doesn't even say leave, that's funny. Are there any cards in here that are just bad? No, not really. I mean, Mirrored Bully is kind of bad. So let's get rid of that. Remove. Remove this. Let's kick that guy out of the party. The party we're waiting for you when you get back. Alright, and I don't want any of this because that's lame. And that's boring. Alright, 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 alright. Get me out of here. Send me back. You sweet, sweet Mori. Call me the graphy to you too, dude. This is just like consumable stuff. I made it half out. This has been an hour and a half. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my! You hit the pillow like a load of bricks. Freaking, give me my health back so I can end this video. It's no wonder my throat's drier than California during a typical rain year. What the heck's a rain year? My brain's busted too, dude. I'm trying to say my throat's dry. I need to freaking pause the video. All right. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. I know it's been a long time since I've made any videos. If you're still around, I really appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Remind me of like, hey, you used to do this and I liked it a lot. Or you didn't do this before and I wish you wouldn't. Uh, let me know what you guys think. It's been a while and I'm sure we'll get better as we record more. But I'm rambling now and I'm gonna hydrate. Okay. Bye.